Hello and welcome back to the Chelmsford News Show. I'm Tom Cristiano. Well, I'm very excited. I'm here with uh, one of our state representatives here in Chelmsford, Tammy Govea. How are you, Tammy? Great. How are you, Tom? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Tammy. We're here at the Java Room in uh, Chelmsford Center. Uh, Tammy is nice enough. She has a kind of a coffee with any constituent who wants to come by and talk to you. Right, Tammy? Yeah, that's right. This is the fourth in a series of listening sessions that I've done over the last couple of days uh, to help me kick off my re-election campaign, which I'll be officially kicking off on Tuesday at Rapscallions in Concord. Great, and that and we're, right now we're in March of 2020, right? Yes. So that's when we'll be kicking off your campaign. Um, do you have any uh, primary opposition for anybody running against you for the... As far as I know, there is not any opposition in the primary at this moment. Hey, that's great. Congratulations, Tammy. Well, thank you. And Tammy is also my state representative in, um, in what, Precinct 1 and 9. I'm in Precinct 9, and she's doing, I think, a great job. She tries hard. She works hard. She sends me emails, keeps me informed. Right, Tammy? I do. Well, I try to be very um, available to all constituents, particularly here in, in Chepsworth with you having four reps. I know sometimes that's... Um, a challenge for residents in the town and so I try to make sure that I'm here often. I have uh, office hours at the town hall on Friday mornings uh, alternating. We haven't started those back up but we will be and uh, yeah I'm available. I do a Monday morning minute every uh, Monday morning to uh, lay out my schedule for the whole week so constituents know where I'll be, what kinds of meetings I'll be in, what will be taking up on Beacon Hill for p pieces of legislation so really trying to make sure I'm communicating um, often in as many ways as possible with constituents so they know that I'm available to them. And you are. I think you are so available more than any other rep I can think of. Even though they all do a good job, they all try hard, but Tammy really has been trying so hard and working so hard, I should say, ever since she's been a state representative and even before then when she had a very tough uh, number, a number of competitors when she was running for state rep. I remember that. That wasn't easy for you to win the seat. Yeah, no, that's right. It was a competitive field for the primary uh, two years ago. Yes. And you may recall, I drove to Concord, Mass, to watch one of your debates with your primary competitors. That's right, I do recall that, yes. <laughs> well, during your first term, Tammy, what have you accomplished so far or worked on as a state representative? So the things that were of primary importance to me when I ran were transportation, um, transparency and governance in the state house, uh, health care, making sure that everybody has access to health care by running right and um, the fourth is climate change and working really hard to pass bold climate policies and so the things that I've achieved are really working in partnership with uh, my my colleagues I formed two different groups the first is a working group focused on route 2 and, and alewife because for those who are in the other side of my district um, driving up and down route 2 and getting the train into Boston or into Cambridge is really a major challenge and we know that we have huge transportation needs in this state and and so last week we passed a transportation revenue package as well as a bond bill and a lot of the things that I advocated for and worked with my colleagues around made it into that bond bill. So I'm proud of that. And then in terms of specific um, policies related to climate change, there's a, a piece of legislation I wrote around net zero stretch energy code so that we're really moving our um, building codes in the direction of being net zero. That made it into language uh, in a bill that was passed by the Senate. Their Senate, the Senate package and then I had a couple opioid bills that have also been making progress as well as um, a, a piece of legislation I wrote on childhood trauma and hoping to get that out of committee uh, by the end of this month and sort of see that move forward. A lot of it is really about conversations and you know bringing forth new ideas, things that people haven't necessarily talked about or thought of before and so I'm very proud of you know really forging forward a lot of conversation around bold policies, transportation, the way we generate revenue, climate change, and health care, and, and the opioid crisis. And then the other piece is, you know, really standing up for transparency and governance. I was one of the first state reps to publish all of my committee votes on my website. So if you want to see how I vote, you can go to my website and find out um, how that is. And a lot of committees don't release their uh, their votes by, by their rules. Um, it's become a, a place of conversation. The Senate in, the, in Massachusetts does publish all committee votes, but the the House has chosen not to do that. So really trying to make sure that all people can access and have a voice in our government. And I'm, I'm proud of some of the progress that I've been able to make in that area.
That's amazing, Tammy, that all those things that you mentioned, but the transparency too, because a lot of people wouldn't want all the constituents to know how they voted on every little bill and yeah. don't they don't want to anger anybody. But if they do want to go, how, what what's the website where they could find your their votes, your votes? Yeah, it's TammyGovea.com. So just spell my name, T-A-M-I, last name G-O-U-V-E-I-A.com. And you can see legislation I filed, legislation I co-sponsored, uh, news, places like this I'll post up after you publish it. I'll post that up on my website so people can see the conversation that we've had here. Um, and, uh, you know, a whole, whole host of other things of where I've been in the district is also, as well as speeches uh, that I've given us also on my website for people to check out. Yeah. Well, Tammy, you've done so much already in your first term. It is amazing. Uh, do you have the same priorities for your second term? Hopefully you will win re-election, but what are your priorities? Yeah, so if I do, uh, if the people put their faith in me again uh, and choose to send me back to Beacon Hill, I will continue to work on health care. I'm really concerned about what's happening with the uh, reproductive justice and the Roe Act. want to make sure that we're really pushing that forward. If it doesn't succeed this session, we'd like to see some major conversations around that next session. Protecting our immigrants as well, um, Looking, at, taking a hard look at safe communities. That's something that's kind of been lingering in the state house. So really advocating for the most vulnerable among us. Uh, transportation, even though we passed the revenue package and the bond bill, um, we're going to have to work together to uh, get some of the projects that were included in the bond bill moving and get them funded. Uh, so a lot of it will be advocacy with the, on the administrative side and then also climate change. I mean, we are facing an existential crisis with our climate and really want to continue to push bold policies on the climate change front, um, working with Sunrise and other advocacy organizations, Mass Power Forward, Elders Out Front, um, Sierra Club, you know, all the environmental organizations that have been putting their heart and soul into making sure that we have a sustainable environment, not only for us now, but for future generations. And so those are the major priorities of mine, as, as well as the transparency, still working on that as well. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, um, normally I would, I would love to talk to you for another, like half an hour, but I won't. <laughs> because we're at the Java Room, and there are many people here waiting to talk to you personally, right? Yeah. Aren't you, lady? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I don't want to take up too much of your time, Tammy, but thank you very much for being on the Chumps and News again. You've been on many times so far, right? Yeah, absolutely, and I'll come back again. And we always had a good time, right? Always, always. Well, good luck with your re-election campaign, Tammy. Thank you for all that you do for Chelmsford, and you're also representing, what, Concord, Carlisle, and Acton. And Acton. It's amazing. Yes. Well, thank Thank you, Tammy. Congratulations on your big victory two years ago, and hopefully another victory in November. Great. Well, thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. Thank you, Tammy.